Welcome to uh, levers and mechanisms. Uh, these are the basic uh, few components of mechanisms. Right, we start with levers first. Right, levers are used to lift heavy objects, uh, heavy weights, with the least amount of effort. Okay, so in the example show, you can see the heavy weight being uh, lift on the left side by this person on the right side. All right, the longer the lever is, the rod is easier to lift uh, at the, the weight. So uh, in normal circumstances, uh, one ton is very heavy and you are unable to lift at all. Right, basically what we have there is the three basic elements of uh, the levers. We have the fulcrum, uh, which is the, plate, the triangular shape there where the rod or the lever will rotate. Uh, the load is the weight and then the effort is the amount of uh, energy that you put in to push the rod. Okay, so we use levers in every day of our lives. The bicycle brake works because uh, on the principle of levers, uh, the, the other examples are door handle or even a wheelbarrow. Or we'll discuss this more when we move into the lesson. Right, three classes of lever. We have the first class. Uh, basically, the load and the effort is on either end and in the center is the fulcrum. So this is basically, uh, you know, the example of a seesaw or anything like that also uses the same type of uh, principle. Second class, uh, the fulcrum is at one end, the load is in the center uh, and the effort is on the, the, the furthest end. Okay, so basically the example here is a wheelbarrow. For the third class, same, the fulcrum is at the, the far end and then the effort is in the center. So that's a little difference now. An example is a fishing rod where the fisherman pulls on the uh, fishing rod. Right? So, this is how we remember. So, we start with F E L, you flee, you run away, okay? So, flee, and then you put F L E, and then you put there one, two, and three. Right? So, basically, F one is first class, load second class, and the third E is the third class. So, how do we remember? F1, remember in the center is the fulcrum. So it's first class, F is in the center. Second class, load is in the center. And so second class, you look at the illustration, F uh, is on the either side, F and E, and then load is in the center. The third class, effort is in the center. So you look at the illustration, E is in the center, F and L is on either side. So you can remember this way. Uh, for me, I remember this as the, the uh, seesaw is in the first class, the wheelbarrow is the second class, and the fishing rod is the third class. You can also remember the application and then reverse engineer in the exam if we have to. Right? Now, so a little exercise here. I want you to draw three examples of levers that are used in everyday life. Uh, draw your own examples of the three different classes of levers. Think in, think in terms of examples you use at home or at, in school or whatever. Okay, so draw three examples of levers. Next one, we have springs. Right? Can you think about what are some common uh, household tools or equipment that uses springs as part of the mechanism? Uh, for compression spring. Right? You can think about uh, the mechanical pencil or even those compression toys. These are using compression springs. Uh, flat springs. Right? We have the stapler or even the, uh, the spring clip. Right? Or even your nail clipper. This uses flat springs. Tension springs. Uh, inside your stapler, there's this part where you pull back to put in the bullet. That uses uh, tension springs. Uh, many of the toys that bounce up and down, they use tension springs as well. Torsion springs, these are things that you use in your clips, right? Or your fishing, uh, no, no, you're not fishing, the cloth pack, they use torsion spring. Okay, so these are some of the examples. Your, even your hole puncher, there's also a torsion spring. And those hand exerciser that you squeeze, uh, those are torsion springs. Right, so Common springs that we use are either the compression springs or the tension springs. Okay, so these are common uh, things that we have. Right. So exercise. Can you name a product that uses these springs? What are some common items that uses torsion springs? 
what are some common items that use extension springs and what is one common item that use compression springs. So think about all these things and then you can uh, list them down and note them. Right? The last one is a mechanism. Uh, we are going to do this uh, mechanism as part of enrichment later on. Uh, so please watch the next video to see how this thing works. Alright, so here we have a video clip of the uh, uh, elevator mechanism that we have. This is the second video. Uh, it shows a very quick construction guide of how we can construct this uh, you know, elevator mechanism. So uh, you can study and at least learn how this thing works.